What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the limited edition CR7 which is Portuguese for best Nike Mercurial Superfly 5 which was released in celebration of Cristiano Ronaldo now in back-to-back -back seasons winning the FIFA Men's Player of the Year specifically for 2017 and as you guys can see this is basically a chapter 5 CR7 Superfly with a lot of extra shiny bits making for a very very good looking boot I will give them that although it is quite expensive but that's kind of what you end up paying for any limited edition release from pretty much any brand so we're going to go over all the details in today's video talk about what's different from a regular cr7 chapter 5 superfly go over the tech specs the performance features as well as how they fit and feel on feet so if you're interested in learning more please stick around watch the entire video if you're interested in a pair for yourself these have been available for about a month, but only in Europe. As of today though, they are actually available at a couple different retailers in the US. So if you are interested in a pair, there are buy it now links for both the US as well as Europe slightly below the normal retail price. So you can click a little pop up in the corner of the screen or the first link down below, that'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these up below their normal $350 retail price. Included with your new $350 shoes is a special edition box, white in color, which is nice to have. You can see it's got the CR7 logo in kind of like a gloss finish on the lid with a gold Nike swoosh right there in the middle. And something I found really interesting is that the size tag actually displays the men's size and then the equivalent women's size as well, which I've never seen before on a pair of Nike soccer cleats. They do this with select running shoes that they make, but again, never on a pair of soccer cleats. Although I definitely think it's a cool thing to add. They also come with a string bag that is white in color with black strings and you can see on the front in metallic silver you have 2017 with the chapter 5 CR7 logo which is specific to this limited edition version of the shoe. Before we get into specific details on the colorway because these look really good in person uh, I wanted to address one question that I know a lot of people will have in mind, especially if you're a collector, and that is how limited is this particular release? And the simple answer to that question is we don't really know. Nike never gave any official numbers. The retailers that are carrying these don't have any idea either, and the boots obviously aren't individually numbered. So there really is no way to tell specifically how many of these Nike produced. If I had to guess, my estimate would probably be around three to 5,000 pairs total, possibly even a little bit less than that. But I know a lot of people are gonna be skeptical of how many they made just because they haven't actually sold out even though they've been available in Europe for a month. And I think there's two reasons for that. The first being that it is $350, which is quite steep. It's not crazy in comparison to the regular Chapter 5 Superfly in that those are $325. So it's only a $25 premium for a much more limited variation of that shoe. But I think the second and main reason why these haven't sold out is mo most people don't even realize that this is a different colorway they just think it's a more expensive Superfly 5 in that chapter 5 color but in fact in person the differences are a lot more significant even I was a little bit surprised because it is difficult to tell online so we're gonna compare the two right now but again as far as how limited they are we don't have any official numbers at this point probably never will either all right, so here is a look at the regular Chapter 5 Superfly, which of course is the base for this limited edition release. And then here's the actual limited boot. You can see it's the exact same color, but with all kinds of metallic and chrome accents. The biggest thing being the sole plate, which looks really, really good on this particular colorway. You can see they even added some chrome bits to the back of the shoe. And then the Nike swoosh on the regular one is just black and white. Whereas on this one, it's got this really cool kind of like purple and green chrome color changing sparkly effect to it. Really, really nice. And then you can see the Nike skin covering on top as opposed to just being white streaks and translucent in between. This has a translucent covering, but it also has this kind of metallic almost chrome finish to it, which just gives this shoe that much more of a premium look. When you have the two side by side, this limited edition version really does look that much more expensive. So in that regard, I definitely think that this is a very good looking shoe overall. I know not everybody was a huge fan of the chapter five colorway in general, but this definitely does look really good. If anything, this is what the regular version should have looked like in my opinion. So you can see that you have this nice chrome finish throughout the entire upper, but you still get to see the multicolor fly knit 
on the underside throughout the speed rib texturing, which I think is a nice little detail. This looks a little bit more silver as opposed to kind of like a really light bluish white color like you'd find on the regular version. But again, I think that looks more premium in general. The Mercurial branding on the side there is in black. Then you're gonna find the CR7 logo, which is three dimensional, is now silver as opposed to white, which again, I think looks really good and is super fitting for this particular shoe. The exposed flyknit in the collar, the central part, as well as the laces, exactly the same as the regular variation. And you can see it does have the same detailing here on the back, but instead of in white and blue, it is in white and silver, which again, nice little added touch. Then of course you have the sole plate, which is the biggest difference. And one of the major complaints for that regular variation of this colorway is that it just didn't match the fanciness of the upper. It was just plain white plastic. This has a chrome finish and it does come with a warning sticker as you guys can see, letting you know that the, the, the finish on the sole plate will flake off over time as you wear them. Although based on my experience with any of these wearable finishes from Nike, they don't actually flake off all that quickly. Again, that's gonna vary from person to person, translucent studs, but this mirrored finish chrome just looks really, really good and works super well with the rest of the added details of this particular colorway. Also the insole, while you're not gonna be able to see it while you're wearing the shoes, is a little bit different. It features a black base like the regular version, but instead of having those chapter five symbols and logos, you simply have Cristiano Ronaldo's signature there in white, which again, I think is a nice little detail. So before we move on, I wanna leave you guys with a question. You can vote in the pop-up poll in the corner of the screen. Is this limited edition version of the chapter five Superfly worth it? for the extra $25. Obviously the regular one's already expensive at 325, this one being 350. But if you're asking my general opinion, if you want that exclusivity, if you want to have be the only person wearing this particular shoe, you buy something like this, you're unlikely to come across somebody else with the exact same pair or the exact same variation. It is just a variation, so there is that. But again, in comparison to the regular version, these look a lot better in person than I was honestly expecting. Plus it is very limited. So if you're a CR7 fan or a collector and you have the money to spend on these, I definitely think it's a pretty good pickup because overall it's a very, very good looking shoe. But again, vote in the corner of the screen. Let me know which one you would rather have, the regular version or the limited one that I'm holding right here. In regards to performance, I have had a few people ask me over the last month or so whether or not this version actually feels or performs any differently from the regular Chapter 5 Superfly that obviously was a general release. And the simple answer to that question is no. It's got a little bit of a different chrome finish to the upper, but that is purely cosmetic. The Nike skin, the thickness of the material, nothing is different whatsoever. So aside from just being a special colorway, this is still a Superfly 5 and it fits and feels and functions like a Superfly 5. So while it's kind of a collector's piece to a certain extent, if you wanted to wear these, they're gonna work as any other Superfly 5 colorway would. So that's something that is important to note if you were planning on picking these up. Aside from that, I don't wanna go into too much detail on the performance characteristics of the Superfly 5 in this video, because I think you guys know what there is to know about this shoe at this point. Flying it upper with the speed rib texturing, Nike skin covering on top, ACC all conditions control, minor feature, but it's there. Fly wire cables that work directly with the lacing system, elasticated flying it running through the middle of the shoe, extending into the collar, obviously giving this shoe a mid cut design. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. I'm personally not a huge fan of the mid cut aspect, but as a whole, if you're looking for that mercurial experience in terms of the tight fit, the barefoot sensation, but because of the flying it material, kind of a soft like sensation on your feet as well. The Superfly 5 really does that better than any other shoe out there. Internal plastic heel counter. Take your time with the break-in process because the heel liner, while it is nicely padded, it can cause a little bit of rubbing and discomfort at the back. A lot of people experience that. It's very common with pretty much any of the mid-cut models from Nike. Then of course, you get the Nike plate sole plate, which looks particularly good on this color with the chrome finish, but it's anatomically shaped, so you sit slightly in the sole plate as opposed to it being completely flat giving you this very connected, responsive sensation, which is really a strong aspect of the top end Mercurials in general. If you want that super locked in responsive feel, nothing does that better than the Superfly and the Vapor at the moment. And then of course you get the FG stud pattern, which of course is the only one available for this limited edition release. Very, very aggressive traction on firm natural grass playing surfaces. But if you do wanna learn more about the shoe, specific details, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen to my play test video where I go over everything there is to know, plus you get to see the shoes in action. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go ahead and check it out.
All right, so as you can see, I swapped out the stock blue tint laces for some metallic silver reflective SR4U replacement laces, which match perfectly with the whole chrome effect on the upper, and obviously the chrome sole plate as well. Just really, really like this combo. So if you are interested in a pair of SR4U replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen, as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, and hopefully most of you would expect this, these feel no different than any other colorway of the Superfly 5. The big thing for me whenever I put on Superflies, especially brand new ones out of the box, the first things that I notice is that obviously the shoe wraps your foot very tightly. The flyknit won't feel as soft as you perhaps would expect it to feel, but that will kind of soften up and just become more flexible as you wear them in. But it's a very tight wrap around your foot in general, so if you don't like that type of feel, Maybe a mercurial in general probably isn't the best idea for you, but the big thing for sure, and this really has to do with breaking them in, is the heel area. It does feel quite firm. It can cause some rubbing. So it's really important that you don't wear these straight into a game. You don't go and immediately take a hundred different free kicks. It's good to break them in slowly, walking around, light jogging, some juggling, even just wearing them around your house, just to get used to the way that they fit and feel on your feet is the best way to break these things in. So just make sure you take your time with a brand new pair of Superflies, regardless of what colorway it is. And even if you've worn a pair before and you're getting a new pair just in a different colorway, the same break-in process still applies. Take your time, even though your feet might be used to the already broken in pair, you just have to break in the new pair again. So very, very important to note. As far as width is concerned, it's a mercurial, so it's got a tight fit to it overall. If you have wide feet, not really a great idea, and you're not gonna get much stretch out of this shoe either, because the flying it's not gonna stretch very, very much, plus you have those fly wire cables running throughout the entire foot, uh, the entire lacing system, and those aren't going to stretch either. So again, if you don't like tight fitting shoes or if you do have really wide feet, not a great idea, but if you've worn mercurials in the past and you like the way they fit and feel, you're unlikely to have any issues with the width of the Superfly 5. And as far as the sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is perfect. So like any other mercurial, if you are interested in ordering a pair, I'd recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. Anyways guys, that is it for my review of yet another limited edition CR7 Superfly 5. I really like the way they look, but of course everyone's gonna have their own opinion and because of the steep price tag, not everybody's going to be able to justify this. Anyways, if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself, again, you can click the first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you will find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these up below their normal $350 retail price. Keep in mind though, because this is a limited edition release, it's really difficult to say how long they'll be available. It's entirely possible they'll sell out today after this video goes up. They might stick around for an entire month. I don't really know, but if you want them, I'd recommend getting them while they're still available. Anyways, if you have any questions regarding this shoe, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.